Hi, I'm Melissa Templeman Twells, Divisional Youth Secretary in Perth. During all my years of ministry to date, I've had the very great privilege of serving others in a variety of forms, including overseas service, that has given me such rich and rewarding experiences. Witnessing the Salvation Army's work in Japan has given me a unique perspective into cultural differences. However, when it comes to homelessness, the differences fade. The ingredients of homelessness are consistent wherever you are and include people being devoid of hope through poverty and other social issues. It is, however, a great privilege to witness a person once shattered show remarkable signs of regeneration and it need only come from a faint flicker of hope. For many, the process is tough, fraught with risks at every glance, with a past that threatens to drag them back. I want to share with you Perry's story. His story is not unlike others, yet it is a clear example to why we believe that transformation is possible. My name's Perry Warren, yeah. Um, I'm from across the ditch originally in New Zealand. So I've actually found myself coming over, getting back into work, and um, being what you call a functioning alcoholic. So I'd work all day and then come home and drink two to three bottles of wine and pass out. Do this on an everyday basis. And um, this carried on for oh, five years and started taking its toll. Each year getting harder and harder. And um, eventually one day when I was building, my back went on me and um, brought me to my knees. <laughs> I'd lost my career at this stage, my house, and then my partner, she, uh, she enough was enough. Because at this point, I was in Queensland I had no family or friends around. I'd burned all bridges. I'd just crashed my car. I, look, I was looking at going to prison at this stage too. The police had just released me with nothing on but shorts and a singlet. I had nothing to my name. I was completely lost and broken. I was walking down the street, I'll never forget this. And I was looking at my life and I was broken. And I got to the bridge in Southport, and I thought, this is it. I can't carry on. I was crying, and I actually looked down. I looked down at the bridge, and there was a group of homeless people under this bridge. And I recognised a couple of the males down there that I had given money to in the past. I thought, I can't do this, I can't take my life. I just went down to these people I didn't know, and I just broke down. And these people that are living under the bridge took me in and helped me. They helped me on the street. They showed me how to survive. What brought me back was the feeling that I could actually continue through this, that all hope wasn't lost. There was that hope that I'd forgotten about. And um, so I decided to come back to Perth and seek help. And I came back to Perth, handed myself in, face the consequences, which were scary as. But I, I just, I went with, with this heartfelt thing inside me. And then I came to this place here, the Beacon, through the Salvation Army, because um, trying to get into a rehab, I was so sick. The rehabs couldn't take me, because I'd, I'd pushed myself to so much of a limit after about a month of detox and just um, getting me sort of functioning to a degree coming in here and um, feeling that, that feeling that I felt over the bridge, you know, but even on a bigger scale, I was like, this is what I'm looking for. And um, the programs through the Salvation Army that they've run here have been absolutely fantastic. I just applied myself 100% and I got 110 out of it because it showed me all my behaviours as well. It gave me all the tools too to, take down these challenges that I get each day and, you know, these things. But um, the Salvation Army showed me how to rebuild myself, to say. And without these behaviours, and now, the person I've become through the last 17 months clean now is just, is fantastic. Perry's story is far from finished. The portrait of his life is still in the paintbrush. Every stroke onto the canvas is another day in his life. Where he has come from, most of us will not experience, and it makes his journey even more remarkable. The Salvation Army is about simply doing life with people. 
The rawness of this experience means that it is real and it is confronting, yet there is a beauty in witnessing a hope emerge from despair. Peria's experience might be far from what it is today if we didn't have the beacon and other services. Sometimes when we see a homeless person in the street, we don't know what to do. However, the opportunity to create a better future for many starts in the heart of those willing to give a few dollars and more. After all, it is the common hope in the community that connects us all. Thank you to the Western Australian community at all levels for believing with us in the incredible value in transforming one life at a time.